Good morning, good afternoon, or good night, or whatever time it may be in your part of the world. My name is Mr. John Wayne, and I am a variety gamer. I play everything from the Fallout franchise all the way to the Soulsborne series. Welcome, everybody, to another episode of my Final Fantasy 16 playthrough. I hope you're all doing well. I know that I am. And today, we're going to do a side quest and then hopefully get back to the main quest. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Only one side quest here, right? Yeah. And then any more on the map? Nope. Alright, so let's just do this side quest here. Please, your grace, stay strong. Ah, my lord Marquis. Yote, is anything the matter? You seem troubled. Perhaps I might be able to help. My lord. Y yes. Perhaps you might. It's your brother. His condition continues to worsen though he does his best to hide it. The lesion on his chest pains him more with each passing day. I had feared as much. There are certain elixirs which can ease the suffering of those afflicted by the curse, but... But? But his grace's case is severe. The drafts I have been able to prepare for him thus far have ceased to have any real effect. So I consulted with Talia and certain of my comrades among the Undying about the possibility of finding something stronger. And thankfully, a recipe was found. The only problem being that the critical ingredient is exceptionally hard to come by. And our supplies are almost exhausted. Unless we can secure more soon, your brother's anguish will likely become unbearable. My lord, I know that I have no right to make demands of you. But would you help? For Joshua's sake. For Joshua? Anything. Thank you, my lord. So, what is this critical ingredient? A rare herb by the name of Stonerwort. It grows only where the ether is densest. The vigor it stores in its stems helps to counteract the curse. We discovered a patch near the aqueduct in Rosaria. But alas, yet more ether has erupted from the earth there recently, leaving the whole area flooded. The search continues for a new source. One that we might reach without being turned. So it's only that you can't reach it? The stone and water itself is unharmed by the flood? Well, yes, but... Then I shall go in your stead. Oh, but... My lord. You've yet to find another source, correct? So for now, the aqueduct is our best hope. Besides, I'm a dominant. The ether can't hurt me. Well, if you're sure, my lord. Stonerwort is easily identified by its blood-red blooms. Search around the aqueduct, and you're sure to find some soon enough. I shall remain here and prepare the other ingredients. We'll head to the map. Hopefully this won't take too long. Also, side note real quick. I did get one level. So I believe we are level... Forty-three now. It's over. Hmm. 
Okay. Something was in the way of me hitting that, I suppose. Not even going to bother with it. Here's the aqueduct. Now to find our stone wart. Yote mentioned blood red petal. <sighs> Just my luck. Well, I won't be picking anything till they're gone. There's only one thing for it. Stay down! Yeah! <sighs> Kind of figured we were going to be fighting something. Hoping to stagger him before that. It's whatever. Wish this would go faster. plant at oh they're all right here thought I just came over here though they didn't pop is. up better collect as much as I can before reinforcements arrive all right that should do it let's get these back to Yote in nicks and lumps the lot of them Yote I brought back all the stone and water I could find will this be enough Yes, my lord. Thank you. I'm sure it will serve us until we can find another source. I'm very glad to hear it. You and his grace are very much alike, you know. You think only of how you might help others, and never of the danger to yourselves. No more than you have, minding my brother. You've risked a lot for him, and I thank you for it. I am honored that you should say so, but I beg you. My lord, do not give too much of yourself for the sake of others. We could not afford to lose you. I'll keep that in mind.
I don't think we have enough to talk to Desiree yet. Welcome to the Patron's Whisper. Is everything we've received and everything promised? Close. Just not enough yet. Come again. I may have more for you. How do you split? Okay, the let's seat? finally start the main quest. Last four, five episodes have been nothing but side quests. I have no reason to assume otherwise. Well, then that changes it. Clive, you must listen to this. Lorsman, tell him. Do you recall when we spoke before on the divinity of Ultima? Well, it inspired me to delve deeper into the subject. And what I discovered appears to agree with the findings of His Grace. You will recall that my quest to uncover Ultima's origins began with the mural at Phoenix Gate. But while I've always known it to be important, its secrets have heretofore eluded me. Now, however, I believe I know where to find the more complete example. One that will reveal all we seek. Master Clive, have you ever in your travels chanced to hear of the Circle of Malleus? I would think not, if you have. But there was once a time when the faith flourished, the oldest known religion in the Twins, and though its popularity eventually waned on storm, hints of its dogma remain embedded in more modern faiths such as the Crystalline Orthodox. Wait, you said it waned on storm? What of Ash? Religious monuments are often torn down or repurposed when new faiths rise to prominence. But if no new faith arose, then perhaps the ancient temples might still stand. And so, you see now why I must accompany you to Walud. It would appear the past still has much to teach us. Though in this case, it would not have been possible without the musings of Moss. <laughs> to think that you carried a copy of my old mentor's chronicles all along. I am relieved to discover it in good hands. I shall guard it with my life. Joshua, if you're finished here, join me in the ale hall. I need to speak to everyone before we leave. Right away. Mid said I could ride the Enterprise name. My apologies. By now you've all heard where we're going and why. So I won't bother you with the boring details, only the important ones. If we attempt to approach Stone here by sea, there's a good chance we'll be sighted and fall prey to the capital's artillery. So instead, we'll disembark on the southwest coast and make for Drake's spine on foot. I say we, but... It's highly likely the entirety of Ash is under the rule of Ultima. A large party would only attract unwanted attention. As well as slow our march, and require supplies which may be difficult to obtain. Only Joshua and I will be going. And a scout. Preferably a good one. Gav, do you know of any? You bet your ass I do. I might still borrow some of Lady Vivian's maps, though. Just in case, like. Once you've dropped us off at the Shadow Coast, you need to retreat into neutral waters. Fly merchant colors and stay inconspicuous. If you sense any danger at all, you leave us behind and return to Storm. Inconspicuous is my middle name. But like hell am I leaving anyone behind. The ship ain't going nowhere till your scurvy mugs are smiling on deck. Jill, the Enterprise will appear a tempting target for royalists and pirates alike. You're to stop anyone boarding. Don't worry. I'll keep the ship and her crew safe. You'll be needing passage home, after all. But... Very well. If there are no questions, 
I'll see you all at the docks. Let me know when you're leaving. I want a word before you go. Of course. Make sure there's no side quests. Is something wrong? Not at all. Honestly. Can't a man wish his friend farewell? Just wanted to let you know that I'll keep things in order while you're off saving the world. I'll hold you to that. Time to finally go over to Ash, where Walud is. Walu. Reckon it'll be a long walk to the capital if we follow the cliffs. I'll scout ahead, see if I can't find us an inland route. Clive. Mm -hmm. There's something I've been meaning to ask. You took her icon, didn't you? Yes, I did. She understood. Oh, oh she understood. Understood that you decided to save the world all on your own, and that you'd die without her power. How dare you make her choose? You knew damn well she'd never refuse you. But I will. You can't keep pushing us away, Clive. The world is ours to save, not yours. I used my gift because I thought it was the right thing to do. And you truly believe this will save you? Will save us all? I do. Then so be it. Just don't forget, you're not alone. <sighs> Think I found us a trail? Uh, did I miss something? Only that Joshua didn't. I don't get it.
Always wanted to visit Ash. We're in Waluda territory now. Don't expect a warm welcome. Oh, I don't know, Clive. That castle over there looks inviting enough. Shall we sample its inhabitants' hospitality? Probably going to be filled with orcs. And everything looks really grim over here. Did we activate that? We did. Remember what I said about warm welcomes, Gav? Oh, this place is as dead as Grieger's ghost. No Akashic. Maybe it's not going to be filled with works, just Akashic. Just trying to see if uh, there's any chests. I don't want to miss him. I knew I smelled something. I see only orcs and Akashic here. Let's hope the villagers made it out in time. Okay, so I wasn't entirely completely wrong. There are some orcs here. It's over. On to the next. Oh, I thought that was an enemy. I guess that was my brother. Amber. That's got to be something important. Or something to sell, either way. Joshua's got some pretty cool moves, This might take a while. Kicking some ass, though. All right, who's who's doing the spell casting? You. It's 
It's over. You're finished. Thought I seen a chest over here somewhere. There it is. Although that's... I don't think that was the one that I seen, but maybe it is. Let's go up top here. This is interesting. Definitely looks like it's going to be something to do with the bounty. Or not. Um, okay. <laughs> Class S ranking. Let's see if we can take him down or not. Oh, look. It's the king of the castle. Might be able to with having Torgal and Joshua helping us. Oh my god. That hit so hard. Nice try. For you, brother. Well done, Toggle. Nice try. See how uh what well we can do here. Good lord. Nice try. Too slow. Back up. I'm guessing this is one of the bounties because it's purple and it says boss. Oh my god! Oh my god! That was so scary. I legit almost died there. All that hard work. I don't know how to use this right here, but I'm going to use this and this. Yeah. <sighs> 
so much shit going on. Glad I did not run into that again. Nice try. That was pure luck. Stained loincloth. Your reign is at an end. I know there was a treasure chest over here. I seen it when uh, we first started the fight. Ooh. We got new gear. Mm. No, that wasn't it. It was this. Uh, I don't think so. Maybe if we go back to um, the hideaway and we can level it up or something sure but if we can't i'm not gonna change it out once we start getting closer to our destination we're gonna end the video Seems you were right about that welcome after all, Clive. Okay, before we go any further, I think what we're going to do is end the video right about here. And when we come back, we'll continue on the main quest. All right, everybody, I want to start by telling you all thank you so very much for stopping by and watching the video. Hopefully you all enjoyed it. If you did, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. If you didn't, hit the thumbs down button. Let me know why down in the comments below. It only helps the channel. Also, if you enjoy content just like this, be sure to subscribe or don't. I don't know. I'm not your dad. Do whatever you want. And like always, everybody, have a good morning, a good afternoon, or a good night, whatever time it may be in your part of the world. Mr. John Wayne, signing off.